everybody and welcome to the long-awaited makeup tutorial. I literally get asked once a day to make a makeup video. So today I'm finally doing it. I've put it off for months and months. I was gonna do a fall makeup video. Obviously it's not fall anymore, but I'm, I'm here now. We're here, we're gonna do it. It's 2022, new year, new me. I'm showing up, I'm doing this. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys my full glam makeup that looks good in photos. Um, this is the makeup I use anytime I'm creating content, taking pictures, going to the parks. I know I'm gonna be having photos taken of me and it just looks really good in pictures. So we're gonna just transform the space. So I will be going over little tips and tricks for the parks as well as I go along, as well as products I use and recommend. So let's get right into it. All right, I've started with my fresh face. I've washed and moisturized my face. It is tacky and ready for makeup. So I do have pretty good skin. Um, I can do a skin routine video maybe later on if you guys are interested in that, but I do have pretty good skin. I never break out really. If I do, it's like one zit. <laughs> so I've been blessed um, in that area, but I do have some like discoloration. I have freckles. Um, I do like to show my freckles a little bit, especially when I'm tan and like super sun-kissed. Right now I'm not super tan, but um, so I'll probably cover it mostly. This makeup that I'm gonna be doing today is gonna be a little bit different than what I usually do. I'm gonna be starting with my eyes because I'm gonna be doing a technique for those of you who don't know how to do a wing liner. If you don't know how to use um, liquid eyeliner, I know it is very tricky for a lot of people. So I'm gonna be showing you guys the easy little hack way of how I get a smoky wing look without having to draw on a wing. I use clear tape first and I'm going to literally just put it on in the wing that I want. We're gonna do the same thing on the other eye and just make sure that it's even. Okay, so I just put tape on my eye like this and we're just gonna start by laying some concealer down as primer on my eyelid. And this is going to look kind of weird at first. Um, and then as I do my face, it will start to look better. But I get my Beauty Blender wet. I do recommend the Beauty Blender brand. Um, I've just noticed that it blends a lot easier. Oh, also, for my concealer, I use the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, and I love this concealer because it just pairs really nicely with my foundation, which is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. So, that's what I use on my eyes. Once you have it all blended out, we're gonna start our eyeshadow. I use the Conspiracy Palette as of right now. It's kinda just my everyday go-to, but I do need to get a new one. I also use my Morphe Palette. Um, I forgot which one it is, but it basically just has lots of browns and nudes and that's what we're trying to do today is just use super nude colors. So let's just dive right in. I'm going in with a fluffy brush in a light brown shade and all you're going to do is just windshield wiper movements on your crease and drag it out. Same thing on the other eye. I'm just doing windshield wiper movements and really just blending it, blending it, blending it, circular movements and pulling it out as well. Um, the reason I pull it out to the outer part of the brow is to give it that snatched look that's super elongated. Um, I do have very ear shaped eyes that kind of droop down so I like to try to make it as lifted as possible to give myself a facelift and it looks really good in photos and then i'm going to be going into a darker brown shade and we're just going to go in the very outer corner in the crease and just circular movements and really blend it out okay it should look like this when you're finished and then we are going into 
um, an even darker brown shade in the very, very corner where the tape is. So right on the line of where you put the tape, we're just going to dab a darker brown shade in there. And then just kind of blend it upwards. And we're going to switch to the other side. And same thing, just go right on where you put the tape. Once we have that done, we're going to go back in with our fluffy brush and a light brown shade just to kind of like blend it in a little bit better. Like that. And then I'm going to be using a packing brush, a small packing brush like this, and go in with a lighter shimmer shade. I use um, a rose gold shade, but you can literally use any light shimmer shade. Um, and it does need to be a lighter color just so that you can get that light to dark ombre effect. When you're done, it should look like this super shimmery on your lid and then smoked out on the edges. We're now going to grab a tiny little brush and go into a super bright white and really just pack it on the inner corner. Now we're gonna get into our eyeliner. We're gonna use an angled brush like this and use a black eyeshadow and just make a line straight out from your eyelid out to the end of the tape. That's all we're doing. And it doesn't need to be perfect, it just needs to be kind of filled in. And then we're gonna use the same little brush we used before uh, and just buff it into the eyeshadow. Okay, so now we're done with our eyes. I'm going to rip off the tape and show you guys what it looks like. You should have a sharp line like that. And like that. And then we are going to finish our face and blend it all in so that it looks beautiful. So let's get into the face now. I am now going to go in with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. We're just going to blend it down the neck. Once I have that mostly blended in, I'm now going to go in with my concealer to get the bags and discoloration under my eyes and really clean up this. So we're going to just do a couple little dots. And one out here and one on my chin. What I like to do is use the other side of my beauty blender and where it's like a super sharp line and get a little bit of product on there going. And then we are going to use that to stamp right below where the line that we made was for our wing. See that? Ooh. So now we have concealer right there where we want it and it didn't mess up the wing. Now we're going to bake our face and this is a very important step, especially if you're going to Disneyland or Disney World, if you're at the park all day, you want to use so much of this. I do live in a dry climate, so I only put it right at where I put my concealer, just right here, right here, my chin, my under eyes, my forehead. And if you're going to the parks, you literally just wanna put it like on your whole face and leave it on there for quite some time. I don't need to leave mine on for very long because I do live in a very dry climate, so it will dry out my face pretty fast if I leave it on too long. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills setting powder, translucent setting powder. I love it, it's my go-to. I'm gonna be taking it off now because 
I really don't need it on very long. I just use a big fluffy brush to get off the excess. And now we are ready for our contour. I just bought this Anastasia Beverly Hills contour stick in shade mink. We're going to go right above the darkest point of my face because if you do it on the line, it's gonna actually pull your face down on it even more. So you want it above just a little bit. So it really lifts your face. And every time you blend contour, you wanna blend upwards. If you blend it down, it's going to drag your face down. So I use circular motions like this and we're going to blend the whole thing out. There's my husband. We are now going to go in with my blush. I love my blush. I think it's so cute to have rosy cheeks. If you're not into that, you don't have to wear as much as I do, but I do like my blush. And I'm gonna add a little bit to my nose as well. And now I'm gonna be contouring my nose. And I use the same fluffy brush that I did for my eyeshadow with a light brown shade to go right in to the top of my nose bridge and bring it down a V shape from here up here up and then two lines right here sometimes it's a little harsh and you know you, you can use your beauty blender and kind of blend it out my bright white that i put in the inner corner of my eye i also put on my nose just a little dot and a little line like that and kind of blend in with my finger and there we go there's my nose i use a uh, spoolie in men's hair gel i know that's kind of weird but this is how you get the soap brow look i don't use soap i use men's hair gel and it works a lot better for me i personally think so you just get a tiny tiny bit on your spoolie and you are going to brush your hairs upwards and I don't like mine to look too crazy on the outside so I'll do more like straight up on the very middle right here and then kind of more sideways um, towards the ends and then we're gonna fill it in Once we have that done, we're gonna let the gel dry. So it kind of takes a while for it to completely dry. So while we do that, um, I'm gonna do my lips with the darker lip liner shade. This one is just from the drugstore. It's Revlon in Sienna Ochre. All I'm gonna do is barely overline. look like this my lips already look 10 times bigger just from lining them I do have more lips than like I give myself credit for I feel like then we're gonna be taking a lighter shade in the middle and this is um, shade creme brulee in the Kylie lipsticks I also use the Too Faced lip injection extreme lip gloss and this is so good i swear it's so good okay and there it is okay i'm gonna go back into my eyebrows now and we're gonna fill them the way that we like um i usually just take another angled brush i have two different ones and I use a very, very dark gray brown shade in the top left. Um, this is a drugstore palette that I got, but I noticed, I just really like this matte shade because it matches my eyebrows really well. And we're gonna just go in right in the middle and start outlining the line of where we want our brow to be. But some days I won't even fill this in and I'll just like let it be and I just like it that way too. Um, you don't even have to fill them in if you don't want. Oh, my lips are burning. And I got it on my tongue a little. My tongue is burning. <laughs> I can feel it working. 
Okay, I can do this. Okay. So for lashes, um, I love lashes. I love having big old, big old lashes that are super dramatic. Um, the ones that I have that are dramatic there, I can't really use them anymore because they keep popping up and it's really annoying. So I am going to be using a little bit lighter ones that aren't as crazy, but they're still going to look good. When I go to the parks, if you have the money, I always say, if you have the money, get eyelash extensions. It'll be the best thing you ever do with your money before your trip. I went on my last trip without eyelash extensions because I was like, oh, I'm gonna save some money and just not do that this time. I can do my normal makeup and literally my eyelashes bothered me so much all day long. They felt so heavy, I wanted to rip them off. They kept poking up in the like front, you know, right here when it like pops up a little. You have to bring glue with you every time, every day, and your eyelash could fall off at any moment. And my eyelashes did fall off um, one day. So I just don't recommend, I just don't recommend wearing eyelashes when you go to the parks because it's just, un like it's just something to worry about, you know? So I use the Duo Lash Glue. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes and put on a little bit of mascara. That way it kind of just like blends a little easier. Okay, so I put the Duo Lash Glue on and you're just gonna let it like sit for like a second because it needs to get tacky before you can put it on. When I place it on my eye, I am only gonna place it from like here over, okay? If you put it right in the middle of your eye, it's gonna keep popping up first off. Second off, it's not gonna give you that like wing smoky eye that you're looking for. So I always like cut my eyelashes so they're a little bit shorter and I start them like right here and then pull them out straight. Thank you. Yeah. You're so sweet. I love you. Thank you. So. Thank you. You brought me breakfast. What a cutie. Thanks, babe. Husband of the year. Mm. All right, I got my lashes on, and this is the finished bold glam look. People ask. <laughs> for me to like do my everyday makeup look but this kind of is my everyday makeup look I either do all or nothing so I'm just going to finish it off with some setting spray just to make sure that it stays on all day long and I got this fan at Epcot in China <laughs> I'm going to go put on my outfit and show you guys the full finished look all put together. All right, here is the final look all put together. Um, kind of going for a more edgier look today. Um, all black outfit. Let me show you. Black jeans, black vans, Boba Fett shirt, choker necklace. So cute. Here's Ren. Hi, little angel. <laughs> yeah, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my makeup tutorial. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can see when I post next. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, go do so. It's magic with live. And I will see you guys in the next one.